Father, creator of the universe, and benefactor of all mankind, we gather here as your peoples of many different faiths. We beseech you to hear the prayers of the citizens of this great republic, and us before you in Queens, where the flesh and remonstrance established religious freedom and paved the way to our First Amendment more than a century before. More two-thirds of us New Yorkers in this diverse democracy are opposed to the particular location of the Cordova Initiative Center's moving 13 stories tall location. Please help our brethren realize that our united opposition to the slated mosque is not grounded in bigotry, hatred, or Islamophobia towards Muslims, but in reverence, sensitivity, and respect for the 9-11 memorial we are presently constructing. When I woke this morning, I was reminded of that day, 9-11-2001. It was a day much like today. It was bright, it was clear, it was sunny, it was full of hope. As the summer draws to a close, my thoughts race forward to that day of infamy, the day of the 9-11 horror, the day my son, Matthew J. Burke, along with almost 3,000 other human beings, was murdered as he sat at his desk on the 104th floor of the World Trade Center in Tower One. Nothing will ever, ever re erase that memory of that day, the worst day of my life. The desire to place the building less than 1,000 feet from the site of the worst tragedy in our country's history is, in my opinion, a conscious effort to demean and desecrate this hollow ground, the gravesite of so many innocent people. As a lifelong resident of Queens, Bob has many close friends and neighbors who have personally lost family members from the 9-11 attacks. Bob organized this event to give a voice to the 9-11 families of this district. Please welcome the next U.S. Representative for the 9th District, Brooklyn and Queens, Bob Turner. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is a wonderful turnout, and thank you. We're gathered here tonight, peacefully uh, assembled, to express our freedom of speech, to send a message to the leaders, both local and national, and our fellow citizens in the Muslim, of the Muslim faith that we are opposed to the site of the Ground Zero Mosque. We have, and their resistance to any change or renegotiation thus far would suggest that the site itself is the core issue. By selecting this site, these proponents have tried to place Americans and New Yorkers in a no-win situation. If we accept the mosque as it is planned, the radicals in many parts of this world can boast of a victory tower in the face of a weak and indecisive America. If we reject the mosque, through legal means, the radicals in many parts of the same world will say we are against the Muslim faith. This simply is their objective. Americans <coughs> are a tolerant people. Americans are the most diverse people and cultures in the history of this entire world. We are not defined by race, by religion, by ethnicity. We are defined by a common ideology, an ideology of equality, democracy, and fairness. These rights are defined in our Constitution. We believe in the rights of a free and equal people. The solution is that all Americans, especially our brothers and sisters of the Muslim faith, join together as believers in this fairness and equality, respect the victims and families, and move the mosque.
Now, just today uh, in Florida, a presumed Christian uh, minister has proclaimed uh, a protest, and he's going to burn the Quran on 9-11. This gesture is repugnant to most Americans. It is a deliberate provocation, an insult, and it has no place in our society. Yet, he has the right to do this. Is he right to do this? He has no more right to do this than the developers of the mosque to do what they want to do. We are a country that seeks fairness, reasonableness, responsibility, and understanding. What he is about to do is no more sensible or reasonable than what these mosque developers are doing. And as Americans, we can all come together to recognize that, Muslim, Christian, to Hindu, and whatever. This can be a time of coming together and healing. It can be a time, too, to send a message to our leadership. On the national level, Mr. Obama, you had an opportunity to help solve this problem, and you didn't. <laughs> Speaker Pelosi, how dare you? Threaten to investigate the people who are opposed to the mosque. That would be you and me. Let the message reach Mayor Bloomberg, who accused us of bigotry and small-mindedness. You are just dead wrong. <laughs> and lastly, let the message reach Congressman Weiner, who is supposed to be representing us in this matter. He wrote a letter praising Mayor Bloomberg's position, but refused to take a stance and dare risk his political neck. Tonight, we Americans can embrace a solution that shows tolerance, understanding, and together with the Muslim community. And it's simple, move the mosque.